Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the blessing of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into all hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son, was made on by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, O Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The scourging at the pillar. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The crowning with thorns, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, O daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Carrying of the Cross. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our old daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, who banish children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, o God whose only begotten, begotten Son, by His life, death, death and resurrection, resurrection has, has purchased, purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. When we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Behold and behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom, whom the Lord has set Lord. over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father you entrusted, entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. 
by the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we, we live and move and, and have our being, we praise you. As we, as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines, O God, God the Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity finding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Kindly be seated for a moment. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday of the eighth week in ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. The Lord is God, the mighty God. The great King over all the gods, He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Please sit. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, let out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence, 
and be without reproach when you judge. O sea in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness shall favor to Zion, he built the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty, and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness, and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged, may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, we shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all, all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like rams. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt with us with other nations. He has not taught them this, his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Um. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirah. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. But of others there is no memory, for when they ceased, they ceased, and they are as though and they are as though they had not lived, they and their children after them. Yet these also were godly men, whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their families endure, their posterity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in, their, in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Please stand. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple area. He looked around at everything and, and since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day as they were leaving Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went over to see if he could find anything on it. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves. It was not the time for figs. And he said to it in reply, May no one ever eat of your fruit again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples, but you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it, and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him, because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, 
have faith in God. Amen, I say to you. Whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your Heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of the Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Part of our Gospel today is the story of the cleansing of the temple. And if you're going to be prejudiced about the Gospel of that part, the cleansing of the temple, malamang sasabihin natin itong, itong, itong ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, parang walang awa, ano? Nagtitinda lang naman sa labas yung mga tao, naghahanap buhay, naghahanap buhay dun sa simbahan. Pinalayas pa. Yun na lang yung source ng income nila. If you are going to be prejudiced about it. Tumutulong naman sila sa templo kasi yung binibenta nila para naman dun sa worship, para sa purpose of worship. Eh bakit gano'n ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Hindi na naawa we are going to be prejudiced about it. But to look at what really happened, what Jesus did was not just something of, you know, making or, or cleaning the externals of the temple. Na para bagang nag-ayos lang ng order dun sa temple. You see, what happened in the temple was that yung kultura ng marketplace was actually already affecting the life of faith of the people. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Kung ang kumakalat doon sa simbahan ay bentahan, ang naging dasal ng mga tao doon sa templo para na ring bentahan. It was changing the faith of the people. And that is why Christ, Jesus, needs to put this in order. Kailangan niyang ilagay sa lugar. Na sapagkat ang pananampalataya, hindi yan parang bentahan. Bakit ano bang ginagawa ng mga tao doon sa templo? Ang iniisip nila, para silang bumibili ng kanilang kaligtasan. Lord, nag-alay ako sa iyo ng ano na ito, ah. Itong alay na ito, ah. Kailangang maligtas ako. Binili ko na yung kaligtasan ko. That was what in their mind. Bakit? Eh, yun yung nakikita sa paligid, eh. Bentahan. A marketplace. Kaya nga, ganun na lang yung words ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. You have made the house of my father a marketplace, a den of thieves. Bakit? Eh, kasi ganong yung yung ganong thinking na iniisip binibili ko yung kaligtasan ko. Eh, di parang pang nanakaw din yun, because our salvation is not something that you are going to buy. It is not something that is bought. Kaya nga hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, ay nagdasal na ako ng 500 times. Siguro nabili ko na yung kaligtasan ko. Ay nagdonate na ako ng libo-libo, milyon-milyon sa simbahan. Maliligtas na ako. That is not something true. It is as if ninanakaw mo yung kaligtasan mo pagkaganon. Because salvation is that is, which is something that is given to us as a grace from God, binibigay ng pusa. Hindi binibili. Hindi ninanakaw. Ah, kaya nga ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, nilalagay sa lugar yung tama. 
Yun ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Merong nalungkot, of course. At ang nakakatuwa, ang nalungkot, yung mga nagpapatakbo pa talaga sa templo. Hindi lang yung mga nagbebenta sa labas ng templo. Yung mga nasa loob ng, ng templo, nalungkot, nagalit. The chief priest tried to destroy our Lord Jesus Christ. Bakit? Eh, connected sila doon sa sa kultura na yun eh. It was even them who promoted that kind of, of, of thinking that they, the people, the faithful could buy their salvation. May mga nalungkot. May mga nagalit. Pero, pero, Meron din mga natuwa. Meron din mga naging masaya. Bakit? Bakit? You see, my dear brothers and sisters, what, what Jesus did, yun, the cleansing of the temple, was deeply rooted, or parang it, it was a sign, and it is something that is deeply rooted, to their belief, to the faith of the people. Bakit? Kung titignan kasi sa, sa lumang tipan, ang sinasabi kasi doon, ang, 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 what, what the prophets were saying was that the temple will be defiled or will be desecrated. Magiging madumi ang templo, magiging madumi ang, 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 ang bahay ng Diyos. Yun ang sinasabi doon sa Old Testament ng mga prophets. But it was also foretold in the Psalms that the Messiah, the Messiah, the Savior, the Christos will come to cleanse and purify the temple. To make the temple again a house where God lives. To make it possible again that heaven and earth will be united. Kaya nga yung ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo was something very symbolic. It was seen by those who were happy that God has come. The Messiah, the Savior is here. And he started cleansing the temple. Kaya nga kung merong mga nalungkot, merong mga nagalit, meron ding mga naging masaya. Kasi for them, nandito na ang Diyos. Nandito na ang ating manliligtas. And that is why Jesus had the opportunity to teach those who are happy, those who are joyful. Yun nga yung mga words niya, no? Then he taught them saying, it is, is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples? And many rejoiced because now they could experience the presence of God truly in the temple. Not just because wala nang magulo dun sa templo, kundi dahil naramdaman nila ang presensya ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Kaya meron naging masaya dun sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. You cannot make everyone happy. But what Christ did was something of God. Kaya nga siguro sinasabi natin, ano, cleanliness is next to godliness. Because the act of purification, the act of cleansing, is an act of the Savior, of the Messiah, of God. Now, how could we relate to this? Father, nangyari na yun noong matagal na panahon. Paano natin marirelate yung buhay natin sa, sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo? Kagabi, nag-meeting po kami ni Bishop and 
a, our local official and, and the regional official, ano, meron tayong gagawin dito sa ating simbahan. Structurally, mag-aayos tayo, lalong-lalo na sa mga fencing natin, ano, dyan sa piligid natin. Kasi kung dadaan tayo dyan sa isang side, kitang-kita natin, hindi maganda tignan, ano, hindi maayos. Ito yung mga gagawin natin, parang cleansing of the temple, ano. Aayusin natin para magkaroon ng more prayerful ambience or environment yung mga tao na kahit saan pumunta sa simbahan, kahit naglalakad lang dyan sa paligid, eh nararamdaman nila lang, ay, templo na ito. May presensya na ng Diyos dito. Kaya yun yung isa sa mga gagawin natin ano, as a community. Tulong-tulong tayo dyan sa bagay na yan, sa project na yan. Sana matapos natin yung pagpapaayos ng fence natin. But more than the infrastructure, the cleansing of the infrastructure of the building, I think, where we could really relate in the cleansing of our Lord Jesus Christ is to our very own selves. The cleansing of our very souls. St. Paul said that the temple of the Spirit is our bodies, ourselves. And that is why in his letter to the Romans, he called everyone to dedicate themselves, the whole of themselves, to God. Because we, as individuals, is now the temple of God. Kaya lahat ng mga aspeto ng buhay natin should something be dedicated to God. Everything. Our talents, our possessions, our relationships, everything. Our preferences even. Our sexuality even. It should be dedicated to God. Everything that is of our body, it should be for God because we are the temple of God. Kaya, magandang imbitahan natin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo to come into our lives and to bring that whip that He used in that temple to cleanse also ourselves. Kung naalala natin yung prayer kanina, yung morning prayer natin, those were our words. Dinasal natin yun. Create a clean heart in me, O God, and put a steadfast spirit within me. We are asking God to cleanse ourselves. Purify me, O God. But may I ask, ano ba yung dasal na yun? Is it something from the heart? Or we just uttered it through our lips? Eh, yun lang nakasulat eh. Binasa ko lang. But remember, a purification and cleansing is an act of God. So I think, my dear brothers and sisters, the invitation for us today is to let Jesus enter into our lives and let Him do some cleaning. Sigurado ako, maraming lilinisin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa mga buhay-buhay natin. Meron yan. But then the question is, pagka pinapasok na natin ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa mga buhay natin, and He starts to clean the temple of God in ourselves, ano kaya yung maging, magiging feeling natin? Para kaya tayong yung mga Pharisees at mga nagbebenta do sa templo na nagalit at nalungkot, gustong patayin ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo? O tayo yung nagdiwang And we are joyful because God is present here 
within us. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. We now call upon God the Father who poured out on, it, on us His love and constant care and ask Him to create within our minds and hearts a willingness to obey His commandments. And so we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may teach God's people to obey God's commandments out of love and not out of fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be faithful to the command to love God and to love our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are walking in the darkness of sin may find inspiration and courage to live up to the demands of God's commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never neglect the sick, the old, and the lonely, and all who suffer in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to bring. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry, at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, accept these prayers which we offer in faith. Let us know the love and peace of Jesus, your Son, and our Mediator. We ask this and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for your good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, Gerard, our master, Philemon, our provincial, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Please stand. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. To the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.